Like it says, uh, I'm from Boeing. Uh, I work with Paul Davies a bit. Uh, there's a lot of people in Boeing doing a lot of different virtual tours and a lot of different projects. Uh, and uh, we're all doing some really exciting stuff. And I'm going to share with you some of uh, what our team is doing in uh, photographic-based uh, virtual tours. <laughs> there's a silly picture of our team. Uh, we've got others that help us out quite a bit. Uh, but essentially, we're creating uh, very high-resolution uh, virtual tours uh, uh, using DSLR cameras and uh, we have we're we're a team of uh, photographers essentially we have a lot of very technical uh, background we've been at uh, supporting test and documentation for programs all over Boeing uh, both uh, Boeing commercial and Boeing defense uh, and so in the last uh, about 10 years ago we started creating virtual tours for training and we found that uh, that it had much wider implications. So we've been doing this for about 10 years, and we've expanded every year to uh, to more and more programs. To where at this point we're uh, we're now supporting 12 programs. Uh, these are the areas we're supporting: uh, quality and manufacturing, uh, training, like I mentioned, communication, documentation, and reference. What we do. Uh, so our team, uh, our platform is. Uh, based on the real world. So we're, we're comparing the as-built uh, configuration of the airplane to the as-designed. Uh, so the, the models exist for most airplane programs out there that are, uh, that are excellent and fantastic and have excellent use cases for, uh, for, <laughs> for many things, including engineering and uh, quality manufacturing. Uh, what we're doing is providing a real-world view of how the, uh, how the plane gets built at each configuration uh, or each build state of the airplane. Uh, so um, the quality manufacturing teams utilize these uh, these tools to actually uh, document findings uh, and compare the uh, compare what the current state of the build is when they go out on the airplane to uh, to the virtual tour. So the the tours are web based. Uh, they're housed inside the Boeing firewall. Uh, so <laughs> there's a lot of uh, limitations and challenges and what we can and can't uh, integrate into the tours. Uh, but our team has developed some uh, some pretty exciting capabilities that allow, allow us to uh, document these uh, these findings directly in the images themselves. Uh, I'm going to show you an example of it in the video in a few minutes, and uh, I can go into more detail then. Uh, here's some stills of some of the uh, some of the views. Uh, the one on the left, you can see a side by side view of a uh, des as designed and as built. Uh, the one on the left is, uh, Paul Davies actually mentioned it before, it's called uh, IVT, the Integrated Visualization Tool uh, that Boeing uses uh, as their main platform for uh, visualizing the 3D models. Uh, and then we have the uh, as built in the virtual tour. So what you can do is you can actually, uh, the video will show it in a minute, but you can uh, pan around and move through the, uh, the real world environment and the, uh, it'll slave or match the view in the uh, in the 3D model. Uh, so it allows you to much quicker uh, comparison to the as designed to as built. On the right, you've got a, uh, we call it IPs, but they're installation plans. So all the highlights actually show the areas that need to be worked. Uh, so you, we can turn these things on and off to look at the, uh, the real world views uh, and then toggle them on to understand the work packages and what areas need to be worked. And as you walk through the airplane in the tour, you can turn around and see the front and back of these things. Um, They'll show it in a minute, but the, uh, the resolution on these things are extremely high res. So from about uh, 15 to 20 feet away, uh, you can zoom in on, the, uh, on a fastener level detail, see which kind of fastener is installed, whether it's installed uh, from the front or the back, and you've got a much higher definition than, uh, than standard uh, equipment will allow for today. This is kind of our uh, last few years and how we've, uh, how we've grown, who we're supporting. Um, we're we're now uh, pretty much at enterprise level support for both uh, commercial and, and uh, defense products. Uh, we have, we're at the point now where we're, our team's able to deliver a virtual tour almost every week. Uh, so we're, we're turning these things out at a crazy rate. We, uh, when we started this thing out, we were delivering one every uh, three to five months. Uh, and I'm excited about uh, the capability and the standardization that we're able to, uh, to output with this technology. And here's our video. So we've got kind of uh, two use cases in here that are going to show the, 
on the plane and uh, and then in, in the office. And they're they're both real. They're both utilized, and they're both uh, both used every day. We have uh, 500 to 1,000 users uh, using these tours. Can you kill the sound, actually? Comparing a lap join, uh, looking at how it should look. He's got a tablet he's pulling out to verify the uh, uh, how it should look, and then he's actually going to document it right on the tour. So this is a live platform. It's not just uh, it's not just running on that one device. When he hit uh, upload, it's now live on the rest of the uh, the tour, and the rest of the uh, rest of the company can go out and see that. Uh, rest of the team can go access that that work has been done. Uh, this happens all the time. Uh, we have uh, new new team members from uh, from other programs or other areas get loaned into a program to come help and support out, and they may not be familiar with the uh, the materials, the processes. Uh, and they have a, a work package to go inspect or go install, uh, and they, the instructions can be uh, spread over three or four different systems, and they're pretty confusing to understand. Uh, so she's asking him uh, what she's actually supposed to be doing. <laughs> so, she, <laughs> so she goes in, uh, and he's able to pull up the tour, uh, and he can highlight the, uh, the areas and the work needs to be done, uh, and each highlight is uh, linked together to show the, uh, the assembly instructions. Uh, you can view it from different angles. Ah, excuse me, uh, and then you can uh, you can zoom into uh, to fastener level detail. When we started out, our uh, our team had to go in and uh, map these uh, manually, um, and it was a heroic amount of effort to go in and put these uh, map these in. Uh, at this point, we've actually enabled the uh, the end users and the customers to uh, to go in and map these themselves on the live tour, like you just saw. So he's viewing the uh, these are uh, these are stiffeners or posts that uh, uh, are part of the floor installation, and showing it from two different angles and showing how the uh, how the beams get attached, uh, what clearances to look for. On the right screen, he's got the uh, IVT, the 3D model loaded for that airplane, so he can uh, he's activating the link, and now you've got a side-by-side -side comparison between the as-designed and the as-built. There's a lot of other stuff that we've uh, we've put into that, and some uh, some other really exciting capabilities. But unfortunately, I'm not able to show absolutely everything we're doing. But uh, hopefully, that gives you a taste of some of the latest and greatest. So, what's next? So we, uh, as you saw, we're not actually using uh, HMDs. Uh, the manufacturing environment is uh, very. Uh, it can be very dangerous, and there's a lot of areas in the situational awareness components that we need to pay attention to as we build these planes. Uh, both moving, working around, and working inside these areas uh, provide some serious concerns with, uh, with using HMDs. There's a lot of other capabilities and areas where we can use them, uh, but with, uh, with our uh, way we're delivering these, uh, we've been able to utilize uh, tablets and uh, phones and uh, desktop computers, which work absolutely perfectly for what they need, uh, and they also risk, uh, they also reduce any risk for, uh, for injuries uh, due to obstruction division. Uh, what's next? So we've got a, um, so our team's looking at a lot of other uh, capabilities and advancements. Some of the things we're starting to do now is integrating, uh, like you saw, the 3D models, but we're going to start loading those into the uh, 2D images themselves. So as you pan around and look around the image and zoom in, you can pull up 3D models in the web browser of your, uh, of your part or your areas you're interested in. Uh, we're currently linking to uh, 2D drawings and other systems to, uh, to pull, up the, uh, pull up the processes and uh, documentation common to any of those installations. Um, but it's proven a very, uh, very powerful tool. It's made a massive uh, reduction in defects, and we're, uh, we're excited to, to keep growing it and 
I think that's, uh, that's what I've got. Uh, you're welcome to, I'll be here tomorrow if you want to come reach out and have a chat. I'm happy to share uh, more info and more stories and uh, kind of what else we're doing. Uh, otherwise, you can uh, reach me through the uh, presentation uh, or online. Thank you.